and we'll go through the same procedure, but uh, there's a listing down at the very bottom, which is saved. It's going to save a lot of people a lot of stress. first we need to configure devices and of course uh, what do we we need to add a new device and right now we're going to add a PLC a controller now when I click on this and then I go to CPU I'm gonna go down here to the very bottom that says unspecified CPU and we'll click on this. And then I'm going to choose this. That's got all these X's as the model number out there. I'm going to try to. This version of the TIA portal only supports the CPU. Uh, when you look at the real TIA portal, this list of CPUs are going to be extensive, right? Because it's going to have every CPU that the TIA portal supports. <laughs> so this list on yours will be a lot, a lot different. So this, this pops up, you know, listening. So now this finally pops up and the PLC itself is grayed out. And then I've got this guy right here that says what? Detect. Now what did your pick? So the other way, the other way, if you knew all that information, you could go ahead and write your programs offline. Uh, to do this, you have visit, you have to be connected to the PLC. And you want the PLC to be probably in its final configuration, right? And then what do we need to do? Search, search. So what it's doing is going out there and looking at all the people, looking for any PLC out there, saying, hey, who's out there? And it's waiting for something, this guy to get back and say, here I am, right? Of course, it said. Yeah, plugged in the field. Wait a minute. I'm not getting any. I'm not getting any likes on my field. What does the green one mean? Huh? This is called the link light. So it comes on, that thing should stay on solid all the time, right? Indicating that you've got a connection to your PLC. And then the yellow light, that's going to start blinking because that's the data transfer light between the two. So that's the two lights that I'm looking at. When I look at this on the PLC, when I also look at my computer, I get no blinking lights, which probably means what? So this feature is really, really neat, right? So you got your PLC all hooked up and you forgot to write down the mod. It's going to find, it's going to find the IO module. It's going to find the correct IO module. It's going to find the correct PLC or the correct CPU. And it's going to come in and uh, and also, it'll give you, if I remember right, like I said, we've only taught this once, it'll give you the ability to go ahead and set your IP address on the device once it's been detected. Okay, so there we are. So I did say detect. Uh, 
this is the network view. And eventually what happened on the network view is when we add the HMI panel, it'll come up here and be added on this link right here. Here's the topology view. What's the topology? What's the network topology? The net network topology is how we physically connect the network together. We we went over, I think, three. Yeah, bus star and yeah. Yeah, hybrid, which is a which is a combination of the two, and it didn't give me the, yeah, it didn't give me the ability to, uh, to to set that up. But the first time I try to download or anything, it'll give it'll want us to set up a communication channel, right? Oh, uh, let's see. And I was trying to figure out how to get back up the view that showed me the device. I'll, I'll figure that out. So notice it's already added the watch to it. Yeah, it's all, we went out there and actually figured out what, uh, IO module you had. So, and it takes about the same amount of time, so that's really cool. Uh, but the problem is, is you gotta be what? Yeah, you gotta be connected to the PLC. You gotta be connected to it. So, if you did it the other way, if you knew all those model numbers and you added them, you could actually start programming it before the PLC was even wired, right? Does that make sense? So there's advantages uh, to both of them. Okay, guys. Did I give y'all the the uh, the table on how to wire how to wire the output? Yes, no. Oh yeah. So the inputs and the outputs, right?